Burnzilla in the Art of the Iwi here with the setup and calibration of the Iwi 5000. I have a brand new factory fresh Iwi 5000 right here. The only thing that's been done is the battery's been charged up and installed. Now before I even turn it on and do much, first thing I like to do is right up here this is the business end of the iwi and we're gonna we're gonna fix up this mouthpiece cap this does not stay on very well and i want to show you a quick fix for that very easy to do just use some velcro i like to take the square place it place it right there the hook hook in place it right there hook side really really easy to do and then we take the fabric side right here let's double check where this is going yep, right here so we put it on this end so now we're going to take this fabric side i like to just take it right here fold it over the lip like that so now now you have this dry side the fabric side right there now i do this to all my iwis like first thing now that sits on there sits on there real good now and uh it's not going anywhere so that's the first thing i like to do so we took care of the mouthpiece cap that's good to do because you have to protect this mouthpiece all right now so the next thing i like to do after we get that mouthpiece taken care of is to switch uh our k11 and k12 little finger keys easy to do just get a uh, Phillips head screwdriver and remove the screws. Not very long. I'm going to take those out. This is a great mod to do right away. Trust me, this comes in, in handy later. Some people completely take this... Uh, k12 key off but it comes in handy see so i'm just going to switch this one over here and i like to put it right about there don't tighten these down too hard because you want to leave a little bit of play and i'm going to end up moving this up a bit so you can move those and you want to leave a little slack in them so you can kind of move them slightly once you get them in position i like to position mine a certain spot i like them to be i'm setting this ewe up for somebody else though i'm gonna make it setting up an ewe burnzilla style so that's right there and then we're gonna bring this up some right about there and bring this up here and now that's how it should look when you swap it now the reason i've done this is see that c key falls that's k13 and i can kind of get clear over here when i need to see this is easy to reach you're not like reaching in for it now this key comes in handy to be able to now you can kind of get it over here and get it like this and lower a note a half step so that can be used to play a b or if you're also using k6 on this side then you've got it going that way so there we go we got the keys changed up i kind of adjust those as i play but you know you want that looking like that all right now that we've got some hardware side of the things taken care of right away we're gonna turn the unit on and uh, we want to check and uh, see if this unit has the latest firmware update. The latest firmware update as of the date of this video is 15.45. Now there's some EWIs out there, newer ones shipping with it, but there's still some floating around that don't have it. Good way to check, you're gonna, this is the setup button. White button on the left here, setup button, transpose button. To go into setup, we're gonna hold down the setup button. And now we've got uh, CH on there. And we're going to use the uh, clear keys on the side, the octave. This is the interval key, actually. Now it's called the interval key and the hold key. And we're going to use the hold key. Just 
for acid, we're going to go up. We want to see if this has a setting that says AO. And there it is. That means this is the 1545 latest firmware update. So there it is, AO. That means auto off. Now if I let go, we're going to see the settings for this. This is for the built-in battery. And see, it set the auto shut off at 10 minutes. You have now the selections of off, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Battery's really good in this, so this is where I like to leave mine set on uh, 30 minutes. It's not going to shut off uh, on me when I'm using it. And if I do forget and leave it on, it's going to shut off in a short time and save my battery. So we're going to leave that on 30. And we also know now that this EWI has EWI 5000 has the latest firmware update. All right, the next thing we want to do is set our breath primary and secondary. We've got the unit on and got some, some sound going. We need to just take this cap off right here and you have your eight dials. This top right dial, this is the breath dial. Now the primary, you just turn the, turn the dial. I'm going to have to turn it with this hand so we can see in the, the window. I'm going to turn that breath dial. We're going to turn it up. Uh, see, hear that sound? So it started, this one started doing it right about there. So I like, I'm going to tweak some other stuff out. My settings on my EWI, 61. So there's the primary. I'm going to set the primary to 61. Now, to do the secondary on this, we have to hold down the transpose key. Now when we turn this, you'll start to see a number. See what's see what's curious about the EWI though? I'm wanting to do the secondary, but it started at 61. So we can't trust these numbers when we just go to check them. I want it set to 51. So see there, now I know it's set to 51. So on this breath primary, you want 61. Breast secondary, you want 51. So now that's set. All right, now we're going to do our calibrations. So we need to do that by going to the setup menu to CL. So I'm going to hold down the setup button and it's going to be on AO where we were. I'm using the hold key on the side because it's, it's really just uh, one up from here. There they are. So there we are. There's CL. And I'm going to let go. And it says DL there. That's that's for your key delay. And my settings for that, we're going to use the chorus dial. This is the chorus dial, the LFO dial, and the reverb dial. So this only has one setting. And we're going to set it to 14. So you can set your DL to 14. Now we're going to use the whole key on the side tap it one time and now it take us takes us to bs this is uh the breath sensitivity settings or breath settings breath calibrations so now we're going to turn the chorus knob for our sensitivity to a setting of 38 see these dials see stay where they were before. This is why you can't trust the numbers. It's not like you can think, oh, I'm doing my breath now and touch it. It's going to be what the last uh, setting was. So now I'm going to use the LFO dial here to set my dynamic rate. I got to do this with this other hand here. See, I'm turning that dial. We're going to get that to number 56. Now I have to tell you, be careful. This says dynamic range, so you'd think a high number would be good. But if you start to go too high on this, uh, the the sound on the EWI gets really, really nasty and distorts. So the next thing we want to set is the rate, and that's by turning this reverb dial. So we're going to get our rate to 88. Take it all the way up to, to 88. So there's your breast sensitivity settings. 38 for the sensitivity, which is the chorus dial. 56 for the dynamic range, which is the LFO dial. And 88 for the rate, which is the reverb dial. So now let's do the glide. This sets the sensitivity 
for the glide strip. So we tap the whole key one time and it goes up to GL for glide. So now again, we're going to use the chorus dial to set the sensitivity of the glide. See, it was on that last number we had done. Not what this setting would be, so I want to make sure that's on 75. There we go, 75 for our rate. And now we need to change our dynamic range. See, it's on 56 from, from that last setting. But I need it on 15, so you can't trust the number on these dials. You can't just touch these dials and go, oh, that's what my setting is. And now the rate, which is the reverb dial, let me get this over this way is going to be see it was on 88 from the last setting but we need this on 53 so now we have our glide sensitivity settings the sensitivity is 75 course dial to 75 the dynamic range which is the lfo dial set to 15 and then the rate which is the reverb dial set to 53 so now the calibrations are done there's all uh, there's also pitch bend up in here and pitch bend down but take it from Brunzilla the factory settings for this are fine and you have to be careful because the pitch bend plates are related to the glide strip and you can kind of get in a mess so there's the Brunzilla calibrations I've really spent time tweaking these out it really juices up and opens up the iwi uh, use these settings to, to start from they're a great place to start at least you know the the iwi's playing really well that way all right before we go to the editor there's there's two other things we need to set here on the iwi and the rest of the things are are easily done by just hooking it up to the editor so let's go to setup and we need to go to this is very important we need to go to uh pc it's too down from where we were at CL. So we go to PC, and I use the interval key to, to go down two places. So there's PC that stands for Program Change. And see, this ships from the factory. This red dot means that this DP, which is Direct Programming, is on. This will make your EWI seem like it's just switching programs on you arbitrarily and going off of your program a lot of people think something's wrong with their iwi because of this the main thing is is to shut it off you use the transpose key to turn things off and on see just tap that red dot is gone that means that is off so we got that pesky dp off so now the other one other thing we need to do is uh it's actually under the uh we all kind of refer to this as a B5 because that looks like a 5 but it's it's an S it's BS for breath sensitivity this is different than where we were in calibrations these are like your breath settings and we want to go up where I'm using the whole keys to go up we want to go up till it says CT that CT is stands for capture time and oops, see got to get back to it Hold it down, let it go. There, I'm going to capture time. i got to use the transpose key to see what the number is. So I'm going to hit the transpose keys here. And it's on three. It ships from the factory on three. I use a setting of one. So take that down to one. That's not on the editor. It's just in the iwi. So we covered the things that you won't find on the editor. The breath settings, uh, the calibration for the breath, and the, the glide. And uh, we turned DP off, and we got our capture time down to zero one. So now we're going to go to the editor for the rest of the settings. All right, let's continue. We've got the EWI 5000 turned on, and we have it connected by EWI USB uh, to the computer with the editor open. And make sure it's on... Uh, synth and you want to go to settings because we're going to go through the settings here the first one is channel and key delay midi channel is channel one for internals that's all you need factory setting is four that's a good setting you could bring it up if you're really beginning and starting out and getting a whole lot of glitching i keep mine on two there's really not much reason to go any lower than that i play 
blazing fast and shred and uh, don't really need it set any lower than that. You can check down here. This is the latest firmware as of uh, the date of this video, 1545. So that's confirmed. So let's go to the next section, fingering. Uh, unless you're a, a brass player wanting to use these EVI fingerings, uh, and if you feel like learning some new fingerings, it'd probably serve you well. The EWI standard fingerings are the best and most versatile and most powerful fingerings on the EWI. Uh, if if I made uh, had anything to do with the EWI being made, uh, the saxophone, flute, oboe fingerings would not even be there. Uh, I give the brass guys need their EVI. I understand that, but the EWI standard fingerings are the are the best fingerings on the EWI and it, it was designed to have those fingerings used with it. Just take Bernzilla's word for it there. Okay, the whole key. We want it, uh, it's fine the way it comes from the factory. Legato latch is what we want. This says latch down here, but but it's, uh, it's not on, so no biggie. All right, here we are on the the interval. This outcome is set from the factory. It's set more like an, an octave key. When you just press it, it gives you octaves. But that's that's limiting. I don't like mine on that because all I get is octaves. I like to be able to control. I can still get my octaves. Put it on real time. That's all I'm saying. Put it on real time, and then you can set, and you can use all the intervals, not just an octave. Very, very handy. That's the most powerful way to keep it set. CC, it's off. Don't worry about that. That's for later when you get into MIDI stuff. This setup is completely for the optimal setup for playing the internal sounds. Now, here's the uh, the on uh, the glide strip. I'll leave this legato time off. The portamento, I leave it on. I like to max it out to 127 and uh, leave the pedal switch on. So. So I have it set right there. Pitch bend up, pitch bend up. I like to leave uh, the pitch bend up. I leave the, the pitch bend on, but I also enable CC1 on my, on my pitch bend up. So there I hit enable, see how all this turned on. CC number is one, and I like the, uh, the actually, the full release on it see this has to be taken down to zero because that's that's for the mod wheel so now your upper plates like having a mod wheel on the keyboard and it, it does things the sounds in here so I, I like to leave it on so you know this way I can either shut either one of these off if I find a sound where I just want to have the mod wheel I can shut my pitch bend off um, either way but this is the way I like to have a set and get a lot out of the EV 5000 this way. So let's go to the pitch bend down. The pitch bend down, I leave it as pitch bend down. So there it is. The uh, breath, now this is the important one with the breath settings. You wanna make sure you leave volume off. Anytime you're doing anything with the internal uh, sounds, uh, volume needs to stay off. Breath needs to be on high res. I recommend turning on after touch and then these can stay off now i use a vocoder and being and on the ewe you can turn in this constant output so what i like to do is uh i think you have to turn this on to do it and then i can crank it up and then i turn it off so i like to leave that like that but that's just if you're going to be doing some vocoder stuff there's a little tip there so the other thing is you know from the factory they ship it with expression off but if you turn expression high res on that's what you want the internal sounds play better it smooths uh, it smooths the uh soft entrances on the notes takes that away completely cures it and uh that's it on that, we'll go to the byte now. Now on the byte setting, I like to keep the filter on. I keep my pitch bend on, set on full, and I found that it helps give me a more organic vibrato. I also turn on the breath, but 
I like to turn it down to, there it is, 33. So it's about half, you know, 32, 33. And all these settings, what I'm giving you are my personal Burnzilla settings. They're uh, a great place to start. You know, you know your Ewe's uh, wide open and juiced up and playing good with these settings. So that that's it on uh, the settings. When you get your, uh, it, whether you're using these settings or, you know, tweak them a little bit here and there, uh, for you, make sure you take screenshots uh, of these or write them down because there's no way to back up or, or save your settings other than doing that. So the, the one other thing to do while you're in here is uh, let's go over to the main uh, page and we want to make sure and go to the user bank now. Now these... Look at this. See, we're in the user bank. It's going to be the green bank. These are the ones you can save. And here's the, the zero, zero auto sacks. Look at this volume. It's at minus 17 dB. It's really low. I mean, most of these are at, at, at just above half volume. So it doesn't give you a lot of headroom and dynamic range. So something I recommend you do while you're in, while you're in here. And it'll only take you probably 30 minutes, if that. Look what I'm, look what I'm doing here. Uh, this is something to do real quick to get you started. I just take these and turn them, turn them up to about two or three. You can use your ear and it le level them out a bit. And then you just go over here and hit save. And I'm going to save that to zero. So now it's saved to the Iwi. And then I go here to the list. I go to number two. Give it a chance to, to load in a minute there. Because it, it, this is the other thing people have complained about. Oh, these presets take a long time to load. They only do that on a brand new Ewe when you uh, first load them in, or uh, if you do an edit and it just sits there. So you know, use your Ewe uh, once you've loaded these sounds in. Because I, you know, I play mine live all the time, and mine load immediately as quick as I can change them. So I'm just going to run this up to about two or three and hit save so you don't have to sweat any of the other settings save it save to the iwi i'm going to go to number two this is patch uh, 02 you know it's taking it just up this is it loading into the the iwi in uh just a second here this is gonna this is gonna go down for us there it is and now i'm gonna turn it up and save it so you want to go through and do that just boom 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 when you i it takes you about 30 minutes you just get in the zone changing these and then your last step is to uh pick up the burnzilla 100 presets uh it comes with the screenshots of of my prime tweaks for all of these and the combination of these settings that i've shared here especially with my presets really make the ewe 5000 like it's it's a totally different instrument than the way it ships it's amazing the difference hope you enjoyed this video and uh, are happy with your your new settings on your ewe 5000 like i said next step pick up the 100 burnzilla presets you can get those from my website berniekennerson.com and load those into your iwi and uh, you'll have one of the hottest iwis around this is burnzilla with the art of the iwi